Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Kyle, and this is my salvage title 2002 Mustang up on the frame rack again. If I can give you a quick rundown, I bought this car uh, with frame damage on the vehicle. I thought it was a lot more minor than it was when I bought it uh, until I went to pull the motor out of it to repair some rust on the frame rails. I noticed that they were still quite bent. Uh, it's already been up on this frame bench once for some upper body measurements that were okay. Uh, but now we've got it hooked up or we're going to be putting it up on a computerized laser measuring system. One that we actually just got. It's a new uh, uh, Eclipse system by Wedge Clamp, which is very similar to the Chief style target systems, except this one has active targets which is really good uh, and I'll show you guys how we're going to set that system up and use that to measure this car, diagnose the front rail damage that's on it and then we will live pull that damage and see if we can't get all of our specs into the green uh, so straighten the rails and then at that point I can do some rust repair. So let me just show you what we have going on as far as damage in here. I don't know if I've ever shown it before, but basically my, my rails here, they've gotten a, a banana in them and they're pushed over uh, from one from collision damage and two, uh, the previous owner of this car tried to garage fix this car and it has substantial front end sway. So the front rails are pushed over um, from a side impact front end collision. Um, so he has essentially pulled a banana into the rails rather than trying to pull them back straight. He didn't get enough pull on the front end of the rails. And so the front end, the front tips of the rails are over, but the back half of the rails are still swayed. So they need to be straightened and then pulled straight again. So let's have a look here. So these are our rails, obviously. Um, we can see there from the bow that the rails are obviously swelled out and damaged on both sides pretty severely um, and obviously corroded as well. So uh, let's get to setting up this Eclipse system. This is the uh, measuring head that's underneath of another vehicle right now. We're just doing a quick floor measure, which is awesome. You can just set these targets up on a vehicle on jack stands slide the uh, clips head underneath and you can measure it like that. You don't even have to bench it. It's, uh, it's really versatile and uh, quite easy to use. So yeah, let me just throw this GoPro onto my chest mount because that's gonna make it easier to work with two hands. And uh, we'll get this system set up and we'll get our preliminary measurement done on it. All right, so after a fair bit of messing around, I got four targets hung up front off of my rails got some torque box targets and I even went the extra mile and hung some rear targets because how this system works is off triangulation so the more reference points you have to measure off of the more accurate this is going to be <clears throat> so here's the car here's each of those targets marked out on the vehicle you can even see a 3D view of this damage. Oh, yeah, there's our 3D damage. So that shows you in real time 3D a representation of how the vehicle is damaged. Um, it says that my rear end is damaged as well in the torque box area. That can happen just just from the actual mount points like this torque box here, uh, it's been jacked up by somebody literally with a jack. So unless I pull down like the hole that it mounts in, uh, that's gonna read as 13 high, but I'm not worried because everything else is square and good. I don't know why this rail is saying it's good. All the measurements are in the green. Green is good, red is bad. Yellow is almost there. I don't know why it says that. It's fine, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so now we can start the repair process. So as you can see here, 
my rails are both over this way, the, the middle of the rail worse than the tips of the rail. So that means someone's already tried to pull the tips of the rail over and didn't get enough of the rail pulled. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and straighten that out so that the rails aren't bowed and uh, get them back in the green. So yeah, let's, let's commence. I wanna pull this section of the rail in that way. The whole front end's got to go that way. But this area here, it's got to go over more than the front. So what I'm going to do is bring a tower around here. I'm going to try and hold the front of this rail as good as I can while I pull the other way on this rail, kind of doing one of these with it to take the bow out of this side of the rail. And then we can pull everything over. And we're just gonna put this under tension so that it holds the front end of this while I pull this over. So we're gonna take the other tower Head this direction with it, and I can shut this tower off so that no more fluid gets pumped to it and it doesn't pull. Great. Okay, so now we're gonna bring this tower over. piece of steel or a block of wood yeah a piece of angle iron that'll work that'll work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this up against that and you can even see how this rocks I don't know you probably can't see it but how that rocks that tells you that this rails bowed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this like this this is where it'd be really nice to have someone to work with you, but we don't, so. We gotta do it ourselves. Okay, so what we're gonna do is hold this thing up, because it wants to fall down. Just for a minute here. We're gonna put some tension on. Okay. Now hopefully when I let go of this jack, this thing doesn't want to go anywhere crazy. Okay, I think we might be okay. We'll leave this guy up here for the time being. And we'll try and get the target back on. And see what this looks like when I pull it. Good, you stay there. You, come with me. God damn, it's the cords. Okay, so we're trying to watch these numbers here, see if anything happens. Hey guys, it's Editing Kyle here. So basically at this point, I'd become so engaged with trying to repair the rails on this vehicle that I kind of stopped talking and it's, it's pretty boring content 
from this point in anyways basically once once it's set up i just had one tower pulling this way another tower pulling this way and i was just watching the screen and watching the tower and making tiny pulls just pressing a button just um with you know not not that much really going on to show so i'm just sort of letting it play uh sped up behind me here uh wherever i end up putting this frame in the video um so yeah that's that's really the the, the setup is the biggest part of it and then you know w once you're reading the numbers on the screen you just as long as you're pulling in the right direction you can just you know wa watch watch your chain tension and and uh, yeah eventually i did end up getting it to come straight uh so i've got the vehicle straightened out in the front end now i've got it down back off the frame rack and in the next video here i'm going to show you sort of what i'm doing now that the vehicle's um, frame specs are back in alignment so uh thanks for sitting through this thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you again real soon